Thanks for coming back. Glad I didn't scare you away with that second painting and second video. I know that was a pretty weird one. This is for my 12 painting 2018 Brave New World acrylic painting series brought to you by myself, artist Ian Young of Kansas City. This is the third painting, Mon's speech, introduction, everyone belongs to everyone else. If you watch the 1980 Brave New World movie, this is the second scene where the world controller explains the state of the 26th century. I went over some of it briefly in the last video and want to touch upon it again. The novel predicts a third world war over resources will be fought sometime in the mid to late 21st century, after which giving birth, pregnancy, religion, and conservative family values will become stigmatized over the generations and eventually be made illegal by the state uh, by the time the novel takes place. Humans are born in tubes, mostly sterile, upon orders from the state and bred for specific job functions to be replaced with clones or near clones upon dying. Alphas and betas are the only case capable of critical thought, but must use their intellectual superiority to take care of the lower case, who in turn provide the menial and manual labor that takes care of the higher case. Everyone belongs to everyone else. Everyone has everyone, so no one needs anyone. And everyone has everything, so no one needs anything. To guarantee the entire population accepts this willingly, Super drugs were invented to keep people so high and so horny that all they want to do is take more drugs and fornicate so that no one is interested in learning or inventing things. Intellectualism and creativity and solitude are all highly discouraged. Traditional social events are still rampant, like sporting events, dinners, gaming tournaments, and so on, but others have been upgraded substantially. Movies are now feelies, where the audience members hold knobs that let them actually smell the smells and taste the taste and feel the sex and violence that's taking place in the films. Uh, fornication has replaced romance and monogamy is now frowned upon while promiscuity is highly encouraged. <clears throat> STDs, AIDS, cancer, and all forms of physical disease have been eradicated by this point in time. Over the generations, great care was taken to equalize the numbers of people of all ethnicities to permanently end racism. By limiting population growth, a lot of the natural beauties of the world are also still preserved beyond the Third World War, but the lower case are conditioned not to go there, leaving the splendor of, of those locations for only the higher case to enjoy. This is Mustafa Mon in the center of the painting, uh, wearing orange, holding some CDs, basically kind of like a, like a DJ. Um, one of the most glaring artistic liberties I took was having the alphas wear orange instead of gray. In the novel, the alphas wear gray. Um, my problem with having them wear gray is I knew I was going to put so many alphas in the center of so many of these paintings. If they were to wear gray, which is, you know, a, a neutral, I would have had to make it so colorful around it to make them stand out that it would have been hard to keep the series low-key and, and mysterious and dark which i wanted it to be um so i i made a decision to make the alphas wear orange instead which is very vibrant and colorful and pops that's the only change i made as far as the colors though the gammas still wear green the betas still wear you know maroon purple the uh Delta still wear khaki and yellow, and the Epsilon still wear black. But in my version of Brave New World, the Alphas wear gray. There are some younger Alphas down here at the bottom learning about society, kind of like the, the second scene of the 1980 film. I have a laser light show here in the background to give the painting kind of a rave disco dance feel. Here are some more disco balls here and, and some more laser light shows kind of in the center here, uh, below the atom, dead center. I wanted to put kind of a casino feel to it where you don't really know where the exit is and it's so visually stimulating, you, you know, they, <laughs> you don't want to leave anyway if you could find the exit. I threw in some older entertainments down here, some older entertainment symbolism like the, the Ferris wheel and the other carnival rides and the hot air balloon, which 
And places like Las Vegas or any indication may never uh, go out of style as symbols for entertainment. <clears throat> Maybe not even 500 years into the future. A sign up here advertises sex and other drugs. These columns here are, are kind of like uh, uh, pay-by-the-hour uh, motel rooms, for lack of a better term, with the, the male and female and, and transgender symbols as well, kind of connected here. The columns are there so everyone can enjoy everyone else, um, male or female or, or whatever they want, however many they wish, um, without any of the moral qualms that go along with promiscuous sex nowadays because STDs have been illuminated and, and pregnancy is illuminated and um, we're grown in twos. People can basically um, have sex with whoever they want, whenever they want, without um, any uh, physical repercussions. I did place a couple of alphas in the center here um, of different ethnicities and, and gender, kind of signifying um, racial equality, the, the racial equality that we've achieved uh, once we get to the year 2540, um, which Huxley believes we will do, as well as the, the sexual freedom uh, that we've achieved as well in being able to engage with whoever we want, whenever we want, without any of the uh, repercussions. Now, a lot of the traditional art forms and um, history books, and like I mentioned, education and religion have all been stigmatized to the point where nobody wants to participate in those sorts of activities in the future, and um, that's kind of sad. The, the one exception, though, is the music. Um, for whatever reason, music is still allowed, though I, I believe he mainly, Hugsley, for the most part, says they use music as a tool to keep the subliminal messages going, to encourage happiness as, as the ultimate God and the only reason for living. Um, so although music is still allowed, it's, it's used as a tool, so even, even that's been sort of ruined. But um, we do see in this painting a lot of the good things that have come about through the uh, socialist scientific dictatorship that Aldous Huxley um, predicts is going to take over and replace conservative family values over the course of, um, you know, the 21st century, basically. Um, so kind of a, one of the funner paintings of the painting, uh, of the series. Um, that's all about all I have to say about this one. Stay tuned for the uh, next video, video number four, which is on painting number four, Bernard Marx, The Alcohol and the Surrogate, The Random Error. Um, where the novel starts to get weird again after more of a, a happy and positive piece. So thanks and stay tuned and we'll see you soon.